there has been a political fight um, that's really held off nuclear power in this country, and, and I think it's a shame. I think that uh, at one point nuclear power was sort of the USA's, we, we America, had, uh, had the forefront on that, and we have sort of run away from nuclear for 30 years and sort of you know, put our heads in the sands on it, and uh, uh, you know, other countries have uh, you know, moved ahead in developing things. Uh, so I'm excited to see, with the President's uh, emphasis on nuclear power, with states around the com uh, country starting to emphasize nuclear power, what's going to happen with the nuclear industry in the United States. Uh, the policy, and you know this very well because of the heavy emphasis uh, that you've had on renewables in the last, since 1994, policy that we uh, put in place around this table absolutely has an impact on the energy portfolio for the state of Minnesota, and we have been saying absolutely not to nuclear power. So the resource plans that you spoke of, why on earth would anyone put nuclear power in the resource plan in the state of Minnesota when there's a moratorium? Um, the new third and fourth generation plants um, have a much lower um, waste issuance. Uh, and so again, I think that goes back to developing nuclear energy in the state. I also think that you're going to see some movement um, on interim storage, and I hope there'll be some movement on interim storage. That's, we're waiting for the blue ribbon panel to come out on that. But even so, all of those discussions would be had, you know, we don't, we don't take away or give any preference for nuclear power in this bill. All we're saying is, you know, let's lift the band so we can have these discussions. And the Public Utilities Commission, who is the body in charge of looking at rates and looking at, uh, now we're having them look at the waste issue, their job is to determine if that's something that fits with the Minnesota's energy portfolio. Don't feel like any of the real questions have been answered or grappled with, and that this bill doesn't deal with the real questions, which we really should be looking at before we, we're sort of putting the cart before the horse. Number one, we don't have anyone who wants to build a nuclear plant, so I'm not sure why we keep spending so much time uh, talking about helping them think about building one, um, because we have, a, we have a resource planning process in our state that works really well, and utilities put their plans out there for 15 years ahead of time, and so it's not like they don't want to build one right now. They don't want to build one in the next 15 years. So. Um, I'm not even sure why we're spending time on this. It seems like a red herring to me because it's not ready for prime time in Minnesota, number one. <coughs> number two, you know, all I've heard about the current state of the nuclear industry is what's going on in some, some eastern states where it's, the experience has been cost overruns, construction delays, and ratepayer revolts over the astronomical prices that they're being forced to pay before a single kilowatt of electricity has gone, you know, provided them any, any, um, any lights to turn on, you know, the, it hasn't done a thing. And so it's the current state of the industry seems to be, it seems to be in a state of failure nationally. And I think if we're going to seriously contemplate nuclear, which we may want to do in the future, I don't, I don't disagree with that. We may want to do that in the future, but we sure don't now. Now is not a good time. It's just not looking good. It's